Good morning guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Today on Cubase we're going to be looking at two things. Adding tracks, we're going to be looking at what is a marker track and what is the arranger track, which is quite quite nice. Alright, so say I've got a song like this and I'm going to play it for you quickly, but you, you we can't see where is verse 1 where is chorus one? Where is the bridge? Where is the instrumental? You know, especially if the artist asks me quickly, jump into the second chorus, you know. I'm going to have to play through and find it. You know, so a uh, marker track is exactly there for that purpose. So I'm going to add it. I'm not going to put a name. It will automatically just be called markers. Uh, I'm going to drag it to the top. And then I'm going to put my playhead, this play line, wherever I want the marker track to be. So I'm going to put it at the beginning and then I click on this little plus on the marker track and you see it adds this little flag kind of a thing and when I click on it up here I get this description bar and I'm going to click under the description and I'm just going to type in intro and there it says intro now I know that's where my intro starts um, I'm going to put my play line there click plus rename verse 1 and so I can quickly go through plus verse 2 and add all of these markers and now I can quickly see intro verse 1 verse 2 um, let me guess that probably would be the chorus chorus 1 if I can do that all right so let's play and um, see, and you can you'll see on the side. I can jump my play line to any of these markers that I've just added. So let's listen. And now you can see I'm jumping between the markers. Alright, so that's the marker track. It's really handy to um, just be able to see where is what in your project. Now, the arranger track is similar, but it is also different. So, a arranger track allows you to play back, say for example, something like these markers, certain sections of your song in different orders. So I can have my project because if I just play my project normally it will play from the beginning and it will just keep running, keep running, keep running to the end. An arranger track allows me to say alright I want to play the intro and then I wanted to jump to verse 2 and then I wanted to jump to verse 1 and then after verse 1 the chorus. Because you might say, well, let's. what if we swapped verse 1 and 2? Let's see how that sounds. And without having to cut everything this side and cut everything this side and swap it around, you can leave things as they are and just tell Cubase to first jump to this um, place, play that, then uh, verse 1 and so on. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hold my Alt key and just as on our instrument tracks and, and the way we usually add the boxes I'm going to have, hold down alt and I'm going to drag in a region like that and you're going to see it gives it a color it looks like a little box and that's going to be my first region um, I'm going to put it from there and I'm going to rename this as well you see I've got the same naming facility at the top so I'm going to call this intro now you're going to see here, it's it's going to give me these little events. I'm going to do this for the rest of my song. Um, let's call this as verse 1. Verse 2. Chorus. Hmm, I think chorus is actually up until there and this is something like a, a post chorus or a bridge let's uh, call it bridge for now 
and this part will be my instrumental all right oh rename that properly there we go all right now you can see it basically gives us the feature that the the marker track does um but what's nice about the arranger track is when i'm playing and I click verse 1 it doesn't automatically jump um, to verse 1 or say for example I'm busy busy say I'm in verse 1 and I click chorus it'll wait until the verse is finished and then jump to the chorus whereas with the the marker track the moment I click on one of these things it jumps straight away it's it's more it's more kind of a way to just navigate your marker track whereas the arranger track it's it's actually helping you to to play your project um, certain areas at a time so I'm gonna play verse 1 and then I'm gonna click here on chorus and it's gonna line up the chorus for me next okay let's do this Oh, hold on. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, let's go to verse 1 after this. Alright. And I can go to the instrumental after verse 1 and we can go back to the chorus alright so you see that's what's really nice about the arranger track and in fact this is something that um, Ableton Live is quite famous for um, to use to be able to use Cubase as a live uh, accompaniment to, to for a band or anything and um, to be able to jump into a specific area of the song um, but not instantly you know waiting for the verse to be finished waiting for something to be finished but uh, the arranger track has actually been in Cubase for many years all right, guys, that's this for this video. The marker track and the arranger track, really um, handy tools uh, in production. All right, hope you keep well. Bye-bye.